Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody. Um, so it is roughly 30 minutes into the trading day for me and 32 minutes to be exact here. Um, and I've already royally messed up this trade. And what I want to talk about here is not the, uh, is not the loss. The loss is actually very small, uh, compared to what I wanted to take in this trade. So, uh, let me explain here how the system that I've made uh, for risk and for trading these has uh, worked because um, you'll see in the coming video on Sunday how I truly trade these and you saw in the slideshow how I risk. So let me jump into Grub. Grub was gapping down again uh, after a really really bad that you can see all my levels here. Sorry, it's very unclear. You can't really see it, but you can see the giant gap down the red day and then it gap down again today. And I put in the watch list that I was um, going to be really cautious of this because I just had a weird feeling that that the continuation of the gap down was was very much a potential for a bounce um, and so I I didn't want to be super aggressive at the lower levels so this is let me show this real quick here here's the watch list okay so you can see that my first eyeball level was 3290 and then 3470 and then 3530 and then 36. I thought it was a potential short. So very cautious of this one though. I like the continuation of the down, but very cautious of the potential bounce, which is what we're having right now. Basically, um, and this was 828 my time, which is two minutes before the market opened. Um, and you can see my time right up here. Uh, Basically, I just don't want to be overly aggressive at less ideal levels. So the less ideal level is 3290 level, and it depends on how volume looks, and when or if it reaches the levels, if I choose to take it. So let's jump back into this stuff here, and let me explain this. So I took a loss on Grub. But here is what upsets me about it. Uh, look at that 35-30 level, man. Oh my gosh. This is what gets me. This is, this is why I'm so sideways about this, is it's not the loss. It's the missed opportunity. Okay, don't, don't, don't cry over um, missed trades or missed whatever, the, whatever it is. I've, there's like a little quote that uh, Dr. Brett told Alex one time and he wrote it on his desk, but it was like, don't worry about something, worry about missed opportunity. And, and that is, that's what upsets me about this, um, at how the trade played out. Not this loss right here, okay? This, this is fine, this is all planned, okay? Remember in the video, I said if I short a line, I give it about a dollar worth of room to go against me. And if it is not right within two or three minutes and it's hitting my dollar max stop loss on that starter position, I'm taking it off. That's exactly what happened right here. But that starter is not something that would like do me in for the day. It's not going to end my day. So now that I hit this level, 
this is where you got to put the risk on. This is where you got to take the risk. This is at the more ideal level. This is where the price has fully extended itself. It's opened at 32 and in six minutes it's ran a dollar fifty or two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents when the average range is much less. So you've got to hit that level. You're going with the trend so you know that when it hits these levels it's going to have a tendency to reject because it's hitting resistance in a downtrend. So the odds that it rejects when it hits these levels are much higher than the rest. First resistance, bloop, and there you go again. And then here it comes again to the pivot, pulls back. That's only 30 cents though, okay? But next line, next thing, next test right here, 35.30. Now that pulls back nearly 60 cents a share. And I'm like, did what? And I miss these other trades, these other opportunities to catch the first resistance pullbacks because I'm emotional about this one and I'm thinking about the missed opportunity over here. And so I'm less clear and I'm more emotional about whether I should trade these levels or not. So I'm just going to cut it off. I'm not going to trade anymore. That's it. I'm done for the day. And that is why this is upsetting. So take it easy guys I hope you can learn something from this and uh, if you don't this is more this was more uh, for me than it was for anybody and I just felt like it was a good opportunity to share it uh, because I know people have been through the same thing that I am going through today so hey traders this is Tosh I go by T Bradley 90 in the my investing club chat just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC Joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.